Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is kind of a cloudy, rainy day today, so I think I'll go off into the natural area and do some photography. It's a really good time of the year to head out into nature and see what surprises nature has in store. So off I go. I'm traveling light today. I've got my tripod and my camera bag with my wide angle lens. I've got a good pair of rubber boots on to help me get through all the mud. It's about a kilometer walk to the natural area and it's not raining at the moment, but who knows what the day will have in store. I've made it down to the natural area, so I'm going to start looking around for some shots to take. I'm going to try and mainly focus on shooting trees, but I'll take pictures of whatever's in season and in bloom or looking really nice. I'm right on the edge of the natural area here, and there's a large tree that's come down, so that'll be my first photograph, taking a picture of the tree that has fallen down. That's my first photograph of the day, taking this fallen tree. Let's go on and look for more compositions. There's a nice view of the water here, so I'll try taking a picture of that. I'm going to take a shot of this ground cover here. It's really beautiful. I'm going to try and get some shots of trilliums. They're the provincial flower. They're a white flower and they're really beautiful and they're out this time of year. Here's a plane tree and the bark looks really nice when it's wet. So I'm going to take a photo of that sort of a detail shot. There's a really beautiful maple here. It's quite a large one. It's never been pruned. It's, it's a natural maple. And it's kind of rare to see them in nature like this. Uh, you can see the structure, how it, it has some horizontal branches kind of down lower, and then it goes up, sweeping upwards into that nice, beautiful maple crown. So yeah, a really nice example of an old maple. Here's a shot of the base of this maple. Really nice tree. You can see the root structure and the bark texture. There's a maple here with a completely hollow trunk. It's on its last legs. But you can see it's coming out into leaf beautifully. In previous videos, I've showed you the damage beavers can do on some of these trees. So here's an example of one that's recovered. I think this is an elm. So you can see on the top of the tree here, there's that conical type cut from the beaver. And then it sprouted out. It's kind of like a natural broom style bonsai. Really cool. And this helps the tree protect itself. So instead of just one trunk for the beavers to chew on, it sends out all these multiple shoots. And then they're, they're kind of useless for the beaver. They may cut down one at a time, but uh, so these clump style is a way the tree can defend itself against beavers. There's a nice willow tree here. I'm going to get a shot of the base of the willow. This old willow tree is totally dead and it's not gonna stand upright much longer. So I'll take some pictures of the base of it. It's quite interesting. I'm going to get a shot of this endless ground cover here. It looks really nice.
I'm going to try some shots off this small bridge. This is one of my favorite Austrian pines. I just love how tall it is and mighty and has a kind of a really tight crown, reminiscent of the really old growth trees. Here's the apex of the tree and I'll pan down so you can see all of it. There's some nice skunk cabbage by the water's edge here, so I'll get some shots of that. I find that photography is similar to a bonsai display. You're kind of picking out the bare essential of what you're photographing, kind of isolating it against the background or trying to, you know, get the viewer to focus in on the things that you're photographing, the important parts. Uh, of the tree or whatever you're doing landscape and bonsai is similar uh, you're taking a tree and you're kind of isolating it and kind of evoking that feeling of nature around the tree I'm beside a large tree here and you can see that the needles are about the same as my bonsai in development. And using trees in nature is a good comparison. Your bonsai should be just as far along as trees in nature. I'm enjoying being out here in nature so much that I think I'm losing track of time. And it's starting to get dark out, but there's a few more things I want to photograph, so I'll keep going for a while longer. Every corner you turn, you find something beautiful in nature, like this old tree here. Here's a larch growing in front of a spruce tree. In fall, this larch will just light up all yellow. It'll look beautiful. I'll have to come back for a picture of that. I've reached the halfway point on my walk. I'm at the edge of the natural area near the highway and I'm greeted with this field full of beautiful flowers. The aroma is just, oh, it's just heavenly. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. Mm -hmm.